Did we look back with the uh, the fights of coach? Coach, you're going to go. Coach, um, winning uh, the three in the home today. Can you just please give us a, a summary of the match from your perspective? Yeah. Good evening. Well, the, the the game that we expected to play tonight were pretty much the same than the the one we played in in Comores. Uh, with the same approach from the opening, low block, uh, with uh, with couple of couple of individual markings, main markings in in some areas, uh, but we we were we were uh, better prepared today than than in the first game that we didn't know so much about the opening. And I think we were in control every every time. It's not easy because. Uh, we we forced to to take the initiative every every single minute of the game, and that makes sometimes feel that uh, the, that feeling of be being a hurry. And we were looking for the first goal to uh, to 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 really consolidate the result. Uh, I think it takes almost 30 minutes or 20 20 something. Uh, but after that, we. We, we didn't continue the same way the last part of the of the first half we should have continued a bit more aggressive looking for the second goal and spend more time in the half of the opening but again interruptions every every throwing was like a corner for them and it takes 30 40 50 seconds to put the ball in movement so we the, the rhythm was a bit low in the end of the first half the second half start the way we expected again they didn't change so much, even though they were losing. So again, we have to take the initiative. We managed to be a bit more organized than in the first half, in our second half, with uh, with the position of, of our two tens. And due to that, we we managed to to score our uh, the, the the second goal um, and the third goal. Sorry, and uh, yeah, after that. It was a bit, a bit uh, disorganized. Uh, a lot of individual things, and and uh, but yeah, I think overall two good legs. We didn't concede goal. We were solid, even though the opponent didn't didn't create so much. But credit for the boys is not easy to, like I said, the most complicated against the low blocks is to to take the initiative every single time and don't lose the focus and don't we didn't allow them to run in transitions. So yeah, overall happy to be in the next round with with Orlando Pirates and uh, and looking for more. Do you have any questions for the coach? Coach, how difficult is it uh, playing the same team twice, especially in the space of the week, bearing in mind uh, how you played in the first leg and now, so the difficulty of playing the same team twice? Uh, no, not really. I think it, it, it creates a bit of uh, what you feel uncomfortable when you play the same team in two different competitions. Like you, you have to play in a PSL game one team and then you have to play them five, six days later in, in the cup, like it happens uh, uh, one month, two months ago with uh, Sekukune, that we play them here in the league and then two weeks later we have to play them in the final. That it's, it's not it's not the perfect guest scenario, but if we play the same team in a, in a two legs competition, you, you are prepared for that, you are already focus and your mindset is about to play 180 minutes, you know, you play away home, it's, it's a different preparation, it's not the same, so that's not the problem. In this case, like I said, we travel to Comores knowing almost nothing about the opponent because we couldn't find, uh, it's impossible to find any footage. The second game we, we have more info, we can prepare a bit better for what we, we're going to face and that was the case today, but it's, it's not a problem. Compliments of the team for the time of as well. Uh, uh, Thank coach, you. I, I know you don't like focusing on individual plays, but once again, I mean, what? <laughs> please, coach, uh, Masonga, I mean, this 
uh, proper football in development from Stars of Africa, played for the national team under 20, uses both feet as well, drops over shoulder, highly, highly intelligent. I think people don't understand how good a player this is. For you at trading, what is it that you see for him day in, day out? I think you said everything already. What? <laughs> <laughs> No, I, 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 for me, the, the, if I have to highlight something with the new players, let's say new, new in, in, new in this environment, uh, play for Pirates, it's, it's not an easy thing. Uh, so, you know, start to, to show the level uh, from, the, from the first day, from the first game we play, it's something to, to highlight. and. Happy to see the, the, the progression of the guy. He's, it's important also to understand that he's surrounded of uh, very good players that makes the things also easy for each and every individual in the team. We try to, sorry to say, but it's, it's the true. We, we try to focus as much as we can in the collective uh, and understanding that that collective structure is going to help every, every and each player, each, each and every player to to shine and to perform in, in the best level, no matter, it doesn't matter who is playing, we try to do it always in the same way, with obviously with the different details that the, every player, every individual is going to put on the table. So, very happy. Coach. I did my best. <laughs> uh, coach, any player from the CBC? Um, congratulations on the win and going through. Thank you. Yes. Um, I know it's the early stages uh, in the competition, but what have you learned um, so far about uh, the space in terms of tactically how different and uh, compared to the local league? And also, you gave a chance to some players uh, in this competition uh, who were not starting um, here in the domestic competition. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Look, uh, I said two, two days ago in the in the press conference that it's it's not it's not smart from my side to to do a statement about the football in the continent, like you know, and looks here like an expert because I'm not. But uh, time enough to understand the complexity, and sometimes the complexity of the tournament is not only coming from what's happening on the field; it's much more. Uh, I knew it. But now I really know, you know. Uh, but yeah, learning, trying to, to to keep the focus in the things that I can help my players to to look better and not losing the concentration with maybe some other external factors that used to happen around the games. That's maybe the most important thing for all of us, not only for me as a coach, for the whole team to to focus in the things that we like to do, which is play football in our best, and having the proper mindset for this competition because it requires a different one, I think. Not not so different. Eh? Don't think that it's, it's so so different comparing with uh, with our domestic league. But there are some things very particular, I have to say. Them tactically, the game it's always. It's going to be conditioned by by the the field. We we found a very very rough and dry field there in Comores, difficult to to circulate the ball, to to be in control. Uh, so in the end, you have to adapt yourselves to the different circumstances, to different type of referees as well. You know, it's, it's not the same, and and the, the, yeah, things things to learn as usually and. Uh, but yeah, I think the mental side it plays a big role because I didn't. It's my first experience in in the CAF, but I have the opportunity the last season to follow the tournament as an outsider and and from the tactical perspective, th there's nothing like really really special to say. You know, this is very characteristic of this. You know, but let's see, let's see. We have now the opportunity to. To get more experience, uh, we will know tomorrow our our next opponent, and and really looking to to keep growing with the guys and and, and with the club as well. Final two questions. Sorry, the the second question to the coach was about uh, 
de, de empleados. De individuales. Ya. No, eh, look, uh, today, I said now to the players, today we, it's our, uh, I don't know how to say this, like, si we, we accumulate 16 days in a row, not stopping, playing, training, playing, training, playing, training. So we have to use the squad as good as possible. You know that I'm not a big fan of the rotations. We rotate when, when the situation requires that we need to do it. And uh, yeah, glad to see that the players who are coming from maybe two, three weeks of not being on the field, they are, you know, performing in the right way. They are fit. It's because they are training well. There's no secrets behind. So, yeah, as a coach, it's a, it's a headache, obviously, to, to have these, these quality guys. And I have to choose 11 every two, three days. And it's not easy, but we are used to do it and happy to have uh, many, many different options for us. Coaching Michael Michael from the Spanish newspaper. Coaching uh, the team rather has got now 15 goals in just six matches. How much of a motivation is that going to the game against Kenton City on Tuesday? The, ma the amount of goals? No, just that the strikers keep on scoring oh. 15 goals in six matches. Yeah, obviously the the, the goal is the it's it's the it's the. Um, is the promised land in, in football is what we are looking for, you know. And when you are in in dynamics where you are not scoring and you are creating, but the ball is not going to the net, then everything is much more difficult because we we start to, like I said, also a few days ago, you know, these narratives around the team that is not scoring and this player is not scoring, and that's an extra pressure. We have to deal with it, no problem. But now it seems that we are more lucky in front of the goal. And hopefully that that uh, we can improve that record game after game. And uh, and when you're when the players that supposed to have the, the the responsibility to put the ball in the net, they are fighting. Well, we all feel more comfortable and you know feeling more confident when you go into the games. But we have to support them in these moments. But we have to support them as well when the goals are not are not coming and when the ball is not finding the net because yeah it's always a question of uh, confidence and time thank you and this is the last one on the Friday night at 10 good to have you so from Radio 2000 I just wanted to ask obviously it was a little bit comfortable today not too much danger and uh, maybe some of the players take their foot off the pedal how do you feel maybe when they do those tricks that the crowd loves, you know? Um, and maybe it slows down the play. Would you like them to go forward a bit or do you understand why they do that? Ooh, whatever I say is a headline. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tricky one. I'm the foreigner here. I mean, I try, I have to, you know, be, it's, it's, it's something cultural in a way, even though I'm... Okay, let me start again. I'm, I'm, I think everything in football is fine as long as it's useful to gain height, to gain meters, to eliminate players, to, to feed the next player in the next line. Everything is all right. Bicycles, step on the ball, but with a purpose. If we do it only for uh, the, you know, the sake of doing, I don't know. Uh, but it is what it is. <laughs> what can I say? I don't want to give you a headline. I mean, <laughs> is it hard to understand? The, the the technical tricks in football are beautiful to see, but again, mm. with a purpose. You eliminate somebody, fine. You lose the ball, it's not fine, not at all. 
but it, it, not, not even these kind of tricks. We don't like to lose the ball, so and we don't want to lose time. The way we try to play, we manage to do it sometimes, sometimes not. But trust me, we want to go to the goal. We want to go to the goal as soon as possible, in control, not just <coughs> kicking the ball there to the box. But we want to progress as quick as possible. We like to play with the speed, and sometimes if we step on the ball too much, you know, we're going against that speed. That's the thing. Thanks, coach. Next question. Um, coach, just on the, on the signings as well, um, got a couple of signings in obviously, um, have they raised the competitive edge in your squad in terms of training, in terms of keeping um, other players on the toes to work, make them work harder, like in the intensity of training as well? Uh, <laughs> I have to be fair, uh, I think that's the key. Um, that, that's why the, 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 we, ha the, we have to base, or at least I have to base my decisions in something, you know, not just just uh, what I like or expectatives or thinking if I play this one is gonna do. The, I, I need to know, and the know the knowledge is coming from the training, from the the week, from the process what the player is saying during the whole week. The, the players have the opportunity during the week to express themselves, to say I'm ready, to say I'm in the my best. And then, yeah. in, in a way, it's, it's difficult that I'm going to make a wrong decision here. Trust me. Then we can win the game or not. But in terms of who is playing or who is not, the differences, they are all very good players, not a discussion. And trust me, the difference between them is not so big. So it's about moments of fitness, moments of uh, confidence in the players, momentum, what the people used to call momentum, who is, who is uh, more versatile or fit the best or the better for the, the type of game that is coming. And at the same time, I, what I try as a coach, it's always to, to be fair and um, I don't want to say like I don't know I don't know how which word to find better than be fair, but there's 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 something else. But in in the end, yeah, I think we all know we all know about tactics. Uh, we all know about football and the way we want to play. When I say all, I say we all as a coaches. I think. Uh, the management of the group is one of the things that makes the difference. And uh, you, I cannot manage the group if the quality of the group, the human quality, is not good. And in, in that sense, I'm very fortunate because the quality, the human quality of the squad is is exceptional, and they make this this deli sensible thing about choosing every two three days who's gonna play, who is not. They they used to make it for me very easy. I have to say. Thank you.